What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another StarCraft Brood War cast. We've got Mihu spawning here in the top right hand corner and his opponent, Hero, down in the bottom left. I hope you guys are doing great today. I had a horrible ladder experience on stream this morning. It was incredibly painful. Just a day where nothing was going right. Drones were getting stuck on top of each other. Overlords were just not making. I was getting supply blocked over and over and over again. And we lost five games in a row horribly. So I just gave up. So here I am now casting some games instead. Because the Brood War ladder experience is just so grueling. It is what it is. We're here watching some other players ladder and one of the best ladder Terrans from China, Mihu here, gonna start with an eight Rex and try to put on some early pressure to Hero who is actually starting with a pool opener, a, an overpool, which was never a very popular build in this matchup. It's incredibly good and very, very popular in ZVP, but it has gained popularity as of late because you've got these two larva ready right as the spawning pool finishes. You can make four to six lings to make sure that you're not going to take any damage to the dreaded eight racks, which is in fact what is coming here. It looks like he saw the eight racks, so immediately producing six lings. I'm gonna make that eight here now and we'll. Put the pressure back on to Mihu, who's hiding an SCV in the main. He's going to keep this just chilling here in the fog of war for now. May send it in once uh, he's confident that and the next layer of tech has begun for Hero. Go see the gas timing. Go see you know what he's going to follow this up with. But Mihu behind this, he's got the wall. He's landed the barracks, and there's no way to deal any damage, unfortunately for Hero. So Hero, he will be looking for this SCV and he spots it as it uh, kind of shimmies around inside the base here, checks out the gas timing, sees that, sees the natural. He kind of sees what's going on here. I personally would have preferred if he just kind of hit it somewhere and wait a little bit longer. You can see the timing on the layer, but it is what it is. He's going to come down here and see the third. This is actually a big scout. Seeing this third base? Very good information here for me, who uh, now knows that an extra hatchery is on the way here for Hero. And this is a different style of Zerg than what we're used to seeing. If you guys have watched, you know, StarCraft Brood War, ZVT for a really long time, you're kind of used to a certain style of play, which is... 2 hatch muta, maybe 2.5 hatch muta um, into a base at a corner, maybe at a natural, uh, or at the main lurker defense into uh, carapace upgrades and eventually into ultralis and defilers and all that good stuff. This is not what we're doing here today. We're for hero going into an immediate third base, taking the gas afterwards. And then powering up on three bases, utilizing sunken colonies here on the high ground. Most likely two sunken colonies here and three sunken colonies here to keep ourselves safe until some mutalis can pop out. And then we're going to be going into Hydralis Defiler. And that's pretty much the way it always plays out here. Occasionally, we'll see people go ultra off of three bases. It's not the most popular and I don't think it's the most powerful way to play. But... Sometimes it does come out. I have seen it before. I really do favor the Hydralis Defiler style, though. It, it just seems a lot more powerful. Seven drones on the way right now. A lot of lings have been made here. So Hero maybe hoping to catch this Marine Force as it moves out. Right as these next two medics come out, I'm assuming he's going to back away this direction. And then as the Marines start to chase this way, He's going to come in from the flank and hit from both sides and see what damage he can do. If he can pick off a whole bunch of Marines, then that's going to make his sunken defense a lot easier. He might only need one sunken, for example, and two sunkens over here. We'll see. 
Um, gonna start to lose these. Yeah, okay, this is it. This is it. He's moving to the side here. He's drawing the the Marines out. And here he's gonna hit from both sides. Gonna get right in on top of this. Mihu just kind of backing away slowly here. He does not have Stim yet. But he finds himself a very nice position here in the corner. And it feels like Hero's not really controlling this. He loses all of his lings. Not the best trade there from Hero, honestly. That was a really good move by Mihu, despite not having Stim at that moment. He still managed to make that a relatively good trade. Um, whereas if he had just stood and fight for fought, for example, and the Lings were able to get intermittent or mixed in with the Marines there, that would have been a really bad trade. Things would have gone very, very wrong there for Mihu. So um, with the trade going well, we're actually going to force three Sunkins here on this high ground, which is even better than you would expect. Two sunken colonies was what I thought he was going to be defending with. Um, and that's what you generally do defend with here on the high ground. But you usually have lings to help you out a little bit, right? So lings are going to be able to run up and kind of block the marines from easily running up the ramp. And getting into a good position. But he utilized all the lings to try and get marine kills. It did not go well. He needs six sunken colonies now. And he's going to pop out ten mutas. But we can see... Seven minutes in, it's quite a late uh, burst of Mutus here. Two more creep colonies on the way. I didn't think that was a good idea. Yeah, he actually does cancel them. A little bit too early. You want to go ahead and get these two buildings. And then get the third gas and then build the sunken colonies. That is the standard way to play out of this build. Uh, evolution chamber here. Hmm. Is it going to be lurker defense into ultra? I don't know. Or is this just an early, like, plus one armor just to help out the lurkers and hydras? No real damage has been done thus far with the mutas. He's going to come in here, though, now. Start to pick away at these supply depots. Going after the turret here. We'll be able to finish that off. Actually, cancel. And the SUV jumps inside the gas geyser. Pretty good stuff from Mihu, keeping all of his SCVs alive. And he's found himself at a pretty decent advantage here. Some drones are starting to increment out now. Over to the third base. And I'm, I'm liking the position of Mihu right now. I think he's done a great job. He's already made his way into double star port play with three racks. Hasn't been slowed down at all. Um, just a solid overall Terran versus Zerg. However, Hero, the longer the game goes on, the scarier this man gets. Just as a rule of thumb, these Korean macro Zerg players are incredibly strong in the late game. Their Defiler play uh, is just next level, especially Hero. Hero, him, Action, and Soul Key are... The names that you, you kind of think of. Not when it comes to Mutalist Micro, but definitely when it comes to Defiler, Defiler play, man. They are so, so good at that. Late game Defiler control. So, we'll see what kind of damage Mihu can get done before we get into that late, late game situation. Hero building up a bunch of lurkers here. Does seem to be that armor. Defiler's mound here on the way. A little bit of trading going on, but we're not really that interested in trading, I think, as hero. We're more interested in just getting our build going, making sure that we have Hydras, getting the Nidus Canal up. Defiler mound, all the upgrades. Drones, of course. Want to make sure that we have that saturation. Extra hatcheries are coming. It's not being too aggressive with these mutas because he actually needs them. Uh, if we have you know, some aggression coming out of Mihu here. And he indeed will be aggressing now. Moving out on the map. He doesn't have a radiate yet, but he's threatening with it. He's threatening with that irradiate right now. And the lurkers cannot stay. It looked like he was maybe setting up for like a lurker landmine here. Old position lurker play, but... With the uh, science vessels here, it's just not going to be a possibility. Some Scourge are out in the army. Can he get some snipes on some of these science vessels? That'll change the positioning in this game 
a lot. If he manages to snipe the first two vessels, the momentum will switch heavily back into Hero's favor very, very quickly. Coming forward here, it's going to look to push towards the natural, at least get some value out of these vessels with the first few radiates. Is able to get that. No snipes coming down just yet on these vessels. Vessels. Staying on the right side of the marine group. Staying as far away from the mutas as possible without being too exposed. And now it's full on Hydralis production here. Double upgrades, Hydra production. We've got double upgrades coming from Mihu as well. He's coming forward to poke at the front. I don't see a defiler just yet, but we should have one soon. Four defilers on the way and consume is indeed done. Oh, not sure what actually went down there. Uh, maybe a dropship. Oh, that's scary. I'll have to picture and picture that. Um, something definitely went down there. Uh, we w used some of our Scourge. And now the Mulas are pretty much out of it. There's one, two more drops here at the natural. I'm going to assume that that was drops. Sounded like a dropship when it went down, but I'm not 100% on that. Third base going to come up. And we're going to have four dropships coming out here. I don't know if I like this, honestly. I don't know if I like this play from Mihu. We're, the, the Zerg player is sitting here on three bases. Um, he's very well tucked right now. It's not like there's an easy, obvious location to try and hit with a... Uh, a drop here. I mean, he can drop into the main base, maybe. But there's just so much defending all of that area. Nice plague there. Does go down. Sorry for the zoom out, guys. I know some people are pretty annoyed by it. But I do like to zoom out occasionally. A lot of units moving here through the middle of the map. There's the dropships heading down to this base, I guess. He's going to go for the third right now. Scans preemptively to check. Make sure that there's nothing over there. He's going to come through right about now. There should be a big plague coming down. No. Dark Swarm pushing everything back. As the drop comes in, I'll have to go picture in picture with the drop right now. Because a lot of this stuff is about to go down. Mihu not paying attention to this as he controls the drop. A huge plague on all of these marines and, of course, all the vessels as well. The medics are being forced back up here onto the high ground. We don't have any bunker just yet. And hydras are pushing in. Meanwhile, the drop in the main has done a lot. A lot of damage. He's killed so many workers here, I think, so far. 40, 40 uh, drones still do survive. But we're even killing more here right now. However, can we handle the counterattack? Running up here with lurkers, with hydras. Jumping on top of the bunker right now. He's going to throw down a couple of irradiates, but the hydras can just one-shot these science vessels right now. The SCVs will be pulled. Did he do enough damage to make losing this third base worthwhile? Tanks are now out. Looks like he's making at least one tank at a time. A second factory starts. This is what I like to see. Another factory there. Ooh, great plague right there. I mean, he did a lot of damage on the side of Hero. We killed some pretty important buildings, I think. Quite a few important buildings went down. Um, and Hero is really limping right now. But we don't have a third, and if the plagues keep chaining, if we keep landing big plagues on large groups of marines, it's not totally going to matter here. Looks like hydras are going to get pushed away. The lurkers will burrow. Getting some great spines there. A lot of these marines are very, very low after that plague. Just waiting for this to eventually run out. Dark Swarm here being a nuisance. We don't have many vessels right now, but we still have some of these dropships to maybe go out and harass once again. Tanks are pushing out, but the Dark Swarm is almost in the natural. This is getting really scary for Mihu. Dark Swarm goes down even closer to these tanks now. One of the Lurkers does fall before it can get in range. And underground. Marines pushing things back. 
This is a desperate situation right now for Mihu. He just has to survive while the drop gets damage over here. We'll go picture and picture one more time. I'll watch the drop. Drop here in the back of the main base. How much damage can he get done? I don't see a Defiler right here. The Firebat being a little bit of a hero right now. We've got a bunch of Marines. I don't know how many medics are under here. It looks like none. But the Marines are just tearing everything apart and the Overlords are actually flying into this right now. So many Overlords going down, but we do still have a lot of open supply. However, 54 supply overall right here for Hero. Two more drops are going to come around the side. Oh, this is some sick, sick drop play right now. He is going to lose, I think, one drop ship. But two more drops making their way into the natural. He's going to drop right back in this tucked little corner here. You cannot take that on with just pure Ling and Hydra, man. You got to get some more units together. You got to get some defilers. Put a plague on that thing. He should be able to plague that. There we go. He does plague it, but instant stim here from Mihu. He's going to work on at these evolution chambers and all the buildings here. Everything's been shoved back. And I think Mihu just seconds away from closing this game. It's so rare to see Hero go down like this to just multitasking and drops uh, hitting everywhere at once. But it's almost a, a clear victory here for Mihu now with how much supply he's managed to gather together 117 plus he's got 57 workers i mean he is very very low on economy not a lot left over for this these mineral patches so he has to get this third base online but he has a hidden base in the top right this is so sneaky having this hidden base here means all, like a world of difference right now if he just builds a couple of factories and starts putting tanks right there that is nightmare fuel for a Zerg player like me. You're just never going to break through there. It's so frustrating. We have another Defiler here with some Lurkers on the defense. A Plague should go down on these. Yeah. Does get that. Some more Radiates come through. We need actually Hydras right now, but just drone production is coming here for Hero right now. He doesn't have nearly enough income to support a real army to actually fight against Mihu. So he just has to struggle to hold on for as long as he can while he slowly macros this out. Oh my god, he doesn't have range! Oh my god, that's so painful. Range never finished, guys. Oh man. I guess I, I missed that, that that just wasn't done. That is so bad. I mean, that's happened to me before, for sure. It can absolutely happen when things are getting crazy, when you're getting dropped. Maybe even his Hydralis Den might have died. Some Lings make their way all the way around the map. They're actually going to find this base in the top right, which is a huge moment here for Hero. Like, again, if you get tanks up on this high ground or even a couple bunkers here with some Marines in them, it's so hard to break into that location, but... He's going to get his upgrades rolling once again. He's going to get some more armor upgrades. Um, he will get metasynaptic nodes so he can eventually uh, use both spells with just one defiler. Dark Swarm. Lurkers burrowing. Hydra's going to go to work on the tanks. We should see a big plague. There it is. Huge plague on a lot of these marines. Backing away here. A good trade by Hero. Buying that time. He's going to try and run around, it looks like. Go for the counterattack up towards the top right. While holding with just bare minimum number of units here at the front. It's a skeleton crew of a defense, but it's slowly being reinforced here. As now he has the drone numbers to do so. 48 drones have been incremented out here by Hero. Lurker running to the front, but doesn't manage to burrow in time. See if this one can make it underground. It does. And so the siege tank will end up falling. He's got another defiler here looking for that big plague. There it is. Huge, huge plague. These were actually being repaired. But man, they do eat a ton of damage right now. Another great plague over here at the top right-hand corner. 
a lot of action going on in this game forcing the marines to run into range of these lurkers lurker is gonna get underground here but unfortunately nothing shoots up and all of these vessels just gonna unleash their energy to pick off as all, all basically all the lurkers are just gonna fall here so this attack really won't amount to much once the marines come up here that is unfortunate for hero but he's pushing through in the middle of the map he's got a lot of units a lot of hydras i bet that uh mihu is a little bit confused as to how many or how he got all of these hydras out at this point he was so far down on economy a little bit earlier it seemed like he wasn't going to be able to put together another army like this but he does come out with one big burst of army now this is one of the last really big armies he can put together on three base because we're gonna run out of economy here in just a few moments we do have a dark storm here for the bottom of the ramp does he have more energy for another dark storm he does but there are fire bats here as well gotta be careful trying to run up the ramp with the lurkers but they're not actually cooperating right now He's going to go after the um, vessels here. Vessels need to be targeted. He needs to go after these lurker egg on the ramp. So many vessels right there. Six, in fact, that have one HP. Could be killed by a single hydralis shot, but he just doesn't manage to pick them off. And he can't get up this ramp in order to break this base. A little bit rough here for Hero. But he's going to make another attempt at it. However, at the same time... Mihu moving closer and closer to the center left, which is the base of choice here for here is trying to take that base at the same time, double expansion going down here to the bottom right. Let's see if he can take at least one of these bases because he is just about to mine out here. He is so close to that mine out moment. Oh, he's going to hit this from behind. Great play by Hero coming around the side right now. Gonna dive on top of the tanks, but the Marines retreat onto high ground. Beautiful plague! Oh, that plague is insane. A ton of these vessels are about to go down. The Marines here. Wait, a drop as well during all of this. Drop play coming to reinforce this position. Can he kill the hatchery? Oh my god, all of the plagued vessels just go down in a rapid succession there at the end. And that might be... The straw that broke the camel's back here. Mihu just lost every single vessel. Oh, another drop down here in the bottom left as well, by the way. Kind of missed that one, but seems like didn't deal too much damage here. Still 52 drones. A couple more drones do go down. But that will finally be cleared out. 2-1. Or 1-2 for the Hydras. But 3-2 is here for these Marines and... A marine army is making its way down towards the bottom right. Do we have Nidus? Nidus, is it done? I don't see the other end. There it is. It's not quite done yet. I think that Miu can just barely make it over there in time. If he does and he breaks that base, it might spell lights out here for Hero. He just doesn't have much left. One firebat is going to make its way down there. One firebat is going to make its way to the bottom right. Can it actually get the kill on this Nidus? It's going to finish. The Nidus finishes, one Lurker pops through. He's going after the drones right now. So many drones are going to fall here. It's really, really close. Oh my god, he just barely picks that off. The hero Firebat there, not able to get his damage in. And then Nidus manages to survive, but just barely on 28 HP. This is getting really intense, guys. Pan Mihu, the Chinese Terran player, break through. Our Zerg hero. It's getting so damn close. A big plague goes down, but instantly returned with the Irradiate. He should have Dark Swarm. There's the Dark Swarm going down at the last possible moment. He drops it. He will hold this position for now. Going to be rallying through that Nidus. So lucky that that managed to survive. It was such a close thing there. Fireback going to run under here with the... Uh, tanks helping out. He should be able to push this position. Dark Swarm and Lurker, the bane of any Terran player's existence. Never able to break through that except with Irradiates. It's the only tool he has for the job. And he's only got two vessels. 
over on this side of the map back over here in the center left this base has been taken but hero's not really paying attention to that right now instead he's looking over here with a huge plague my god the plagues have just been insane this game but i don't know if it's going to be enough we are breaking through here mihu getting in on this center left hand corner but Ling's are going to come to the rescue at the very last moment, it seems. He's just barely going to have enough, or is he? Marines are going to start to deal a lot of damage here because he just doesn't have the tools to actually get rid of this. I can't believe Hero is hanging on right now. It's really by the skin of his teeth. He's still got 100 supply. But Mihu is bearing down on him, tearing him apart piece by piece right now. Another couple of irradiates go down. The last two defilers, well, one will remain after these defilers have been killed. Vessel goes down there off screen. I think I just barely heard that. But the vessel number is continuing to grow here. We've still got good mineral saturation over at the third. The fourth is still very nice. Fifth now coming up here for Mihu. Another drop here into the center left. There's not enough Hydras. There's no Defilers here de defending. What happened to that Defiler? Oh, it's right there. It's not being paid attention to. Hero losing this base. And maybe his hope in this game. Relentless dropship play from Mihu. Seems like it will finally take the day. The supply deficit a little bit too overwhelming at this point. Hard to imagine Hero bringing it back from here with a nearly a hundred supply deficit. Three tanks in production, more Marines. Another great plague here. The miracle plagues that would be necessary to win this game. I just don't imagine them coming through in time here. This is a great trade, of course. And this base is still mining. But we are just about to mine out here in the third gas. Of course, these gases are already depleted. We're going to be down to like one and a half gas, something like that. A lot of dropships over here. He wants to hit bottom right. And I think that Hero is about to leave this position. He's thinking about it. He's taking the defilers out here to the front because he wants to get another base online. He's so low on economy right now. He has to ramp up here because Terran is continuing to grow. 189 supply. Hydras are moving over here to the right-hand side. They're just barely going to miss the dropships in the fog of war, making their way into the bottom right. There's nothing down here to defend. Four full dropships. I think going to spell the doom here for hero. Quick. Snipe on that Nidus Canal. A lot of actions going on on the map right now. We'll try to watch what we can, but I think the real story is in the bottom right-hand corner right now. The last real mining base of Hero has just been killed, and GG is called. There it is. Mihu taking a game off of the legendary Hero. What an incredible match that was. So much chaos from start to finish. It was... A nice build that Hero was trying to pull off and some very, very good Defiler play from him. As expected, as I said near the beginning of the cast, this guy is incredible with his Defiler usage. But Mihu just making it into a wacky game. And the hidden base in the top right, always a sick move. You could see that Hero is prepared for it. He sent Lings up here, but Mihu was able to hold on to that position. And with just all the chaos that was going on, with all the drops that were happening, it was very hard to follow. But guys, but I hope you enjoyed it. That's it for your daily dose of Brood War, and I'll see you tomorrow.